hello beautiful person watching this video welcome back to my channel in today's video which is episode 2 of my cloth flip i'm going to change this sweatpant and the sweatshirt into something more amazing which you have to see now this video is a collab video i saw this girl make this on instagram and i reached out to her and asked her hey can i make this with you and let's make the collab video and she said yes so the first style i'll be making is a collabo with at me on instagram so make sure to follow her if this is your first time on my channel consider subscribing and let's get into this tutorial okay yeah so i know some of you are judging me for wanting to destroy this but i'm doing that because it has a stain at the back so instead of getting rid of it i decided to you know revamp it so the first thing i did to this sweatshirt was to take off the hoodie so i set that aside and decided to attack this perfectly good pair of joggers that has done nothing wrong to me in its lifetime i still love you but then i decided to make something more gorgeous from it so the first thing i did was to flip it like so and then arrange it till it's perfectly arranged like this then i measured out the neck of the hoodie remember the hoodie i took out from the other sweatshirt i measured it out then transferred the measurement to that part of the pants you're going to see me doing a lot of markings that was because i was trying to get the exact measurement so to make this easier for you whatever you measure on the neck of the hoodie divide it by two so i can be able to put it around there so in case you're wondering right now what i'm trying to achieve is the neckline that i'm going to attach the hoodie to so i just cut out the markings and now it should start to make sense you can see what i just cut out was the neckline so the next step is to pin the hoodie around the neckline that has just been cut so what i'm doing right now is just pinning the hoodie around So after pinning this, I took it to my serger to sew it round in the same place I pinned. I'm just going to take off the pins and sew. Now I'm not using my actual sewing machine because a serger is easier when you're sewing um, knit fabric like this one. Besides, that's what they use to sew joggers and everything, so why not just use it since I have it. But if you want to use a sewing machine for this, it's absolutely perfect and you can do it. So this is what it looked like as you can see the surgeon made it look so professional but right now if you notice the pockets are like everywhere they're just dangling on their own so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hem the pocket to stay put so i'm just going to pick a little fabric so that, so that it doesn't show on the other side i'm going to just literally pinch the um fabric and then pick the pockets and then pinch the fabric so it doesn't show on the right side of the fabric just like a regular hem And just like that, I transformed my sweatshirt and sweatpants into something way, way, way more amazing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, this is what it looked like when I wore it. And I absolutely love this. Don't forget to follow at Funmi on Instagram. She has her own tutorial on her page. And I'll be linking her page in the description down below. So you can take it directly there to the tutorial. So now after making that one, I got so excited and my creative juices were just pouring everywhere. So I decided to make something else because I was inspired at this point. So keep watching for the next tutorial. So first thing I did to this innocent sweatshirt was to take out the pockets. Then next, I just placed my ruler at the top. There was no specific measurement for this. I just placed my ruler at the top and then drew a straight line across where the neckline was so what i did make sure of was that it was at the point where the neckline used to be or where the hoodie was so then i cut out my markings if you can see what i was pointing out it was right at the neckline there you can make it lower or higher that depends on you but then i cut it out and then from that new line the new mark i just made i measured 17 inches down because this is going to be a crop top so 17 inches is perfect for a crop top so i measured 17 inches made another line and then cut it Next, I flipped what used to be my hoodie upside down and then if you can see, I'm trying to fold the bottom part of it. While folding it, I tried to make sure it was one and a half inches. Now you can make this anywhere between one and a half to two inches. I folded it and then I pinned it all around. Then I repeated the same thing to the top part. I folded one and a half inch and pinned it all around too. 
so the next thing i did was to take it to my sewing machine and take out the pin and then i sewed at that one and a half inch fold i sewed it all around now when sewing this i want you to take note of something when you get to the end leave about two inch space because we're going to need it to pass the elastic through so i repeat the same thing for the top part but then the label was giving me issues so i had to take the label label out and then fold one and a half inch and sew round when I got to the shoulder part too, so I experienced some difficulties because it was just not aligning well. So I decided to stretch it out and then also just fold some edges, some parts, pleat some parts. I just made it work. So if you experience troubles here, then do not be scared. Just manipulate it till it does what you want it to do. And also when you get to the end of this one do not forget to leave a two inch space so that we can pass our elastic through yeah i know at this point it looks weird but just wait you're going to see the magic that's going to happen once i put on the elastic so i'm going to be putting the elastic to the top part where i've just folded and also the bottom parts that i just folded too so i got this elastic for less than a dollar from walmart it's black so i just like it because it's black but then i cut the elastic for the top shoulder part and for the waist part, I just put the elastic around my shoulder actually and also around my waist and just cut out the measurement I got. I didn't use any specific measurements for this, but if you want to use specific measurements, that's up to you. So next, I to pass the elastic through, I just use a safety pin, put it like so, and then I'm going to pass it through the opening I left before. Remember I told you to leave an opening when sewing, a 2 inch opening, so that's what I'm going to pass the elastic through. So when I'm passing elastic through stuff, I like to pin the end of the elastic to the clothing so that it doesn't get lost when I'm, I'm passing it through because sometimes it can get lost and then it's, you have to start all over. So to avoid that, just pin it to the fabric you're working with and just keep passing it all around till it comes out the other end. When it comes out the other end, you can take out the pin that you use to pin the other end of the elastic and also take out the safety pin then pin the two tips together and then we're going to sew that so before we go sew it i'm going to repeat the same thing i just did now to the top part of this um sweatshirt so i'm going to put the safety pin on the elastic and then pass it round through the two inch space i left before also don't forget to pin the tip of this to the fabric when you start and basically it's the same step So now when you come to the sewing machine, just take out the pin from, you remember you pinned the two tips of the elastic together, just take out the pin and replace it with a stitch. And when you're sewing the stitch, make sure to reverse it multiple times, not a couple times, reverse multiple times like you're going to see me do. That's because we want it to stay put and not move anywhere, not to um, come apart or lose eventually. We want it to stay put. So reverse multiple times so it's firm. So now we're just going to repeat this step on the bottom part of the top. Again, we're taking out the pin and just replacing it with a stitch. But then when we're stitching, we're going to do multiple stitches so that it's firm. So now after this, the last step is to close that two inch space that we left to pass the elastic through. So I'm just going to sew a straight line across that so that we can close that space. It's more professional when you close it, although you can leave it open, but it's more professional when you close it. So I did close mine. So this is what it looks like. It's super, super cute and I love it so much. Wait till you see it on me. Okay, now look at it on me. Like, I love the way it fits. I love the way it, it, is, it used to be a sweatshirt. So this is super comfortable and stylish. 
So basically what I did in this video was to convert my sweatshirt and my innocent sweatpants into something way more amazing. Let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite. So I decided to style this in two different ways. I styled the off shoulder as a more dressy, you know, and then I styled the other one as an e-girl look which is more of my style because I don't know, that's what I like. But let me know which one is your favorite and which one you are most likely to copy or to make again and i would like to see pictures of what you make don't forget to tag me on my instagram and also follow me if you don't and that is all for this episode of clothes flip and i will see you all on my next video bye